Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. We're gonna fight the Dark Lord of the Lycans, I assume. Hello? Gabriel has there fought long and hard to get to this point. Gabriel and is now long he and hard. faces his stiffest challenge. The Dark Lord of the Lycans. Do they must really need to write his stiffest challenge? chance of bringing his beloved his back. most erect and penile of challenges. More than he knows once he discovers the truth. And yet his hatred and Look, maybe I'm a gross, weird sex pervert, but they wrote long, hard as death in one sentence. He has the gauntlet, and he has Gandolfi's weapon. He is a force that even the Dark Lord will struggle to deal with. I really with. do like that Gandolfi's Good. the guy who made the weapon. Soon he will overcome this evil. Soon the world will be free of the Lords of Shadow, and plans long dreamt of will come to fruition. Go, my friend. Go. Go and break this creature once and for all. And by break him, he means hop on his back and, like, wreck the level. <laughs> it's so evil up there. Why has it got to be so evil, though? That's awesome. Man, and he's not going to be a titan. I'm excited about that. Of course, the Lord of Shadows sits in a big old pool of light. No one would ever suspect it. I have come to fulfill the prophecy. <sighs> Dude. <laughs> My acolytes will not lie. A warrior from the Brotherhood. Here on Man, a big beardy Sire. werewolf dude with a hammer. I wonder, warrior, if you know where you are. Did they, like, predict a Heisenberg there? I am on desecrated land, and you, and those of your clan, do not deserve to live. Especially the women and children. <laughs> wow, an actual mwahaha. I love this dude. You say you are here to fulfill a prophecy. You and the other Lords of Shadow are protecting a power in your sanctuaries. I have come to reclaim that power. Mm -hmm. You, alone. You dare enter my inner sanctum and dictate your petty mortal terms Come on, to me. shut up and kick my I ass already. I mortal little man. And your pathetic prophecy is known to me, but you... Like, I feel like the werewolf guy would have way less bands, you the know? Real truth of your situation. It is you who are ignorant. Ignorant of the pain and suffering you have brought to this land. Many centuries ago, was it Alucard, Richter, and Sypha? Lord of Light, the order to which you belong. Their sole purpose was to serve God and defeat God. the devil. For decades, don't we all? The founders fought fiercely against one of those radical ass Diablo angels back there, and finally tipped the equilibrium in God's favor. Such was their commitment to the crusade. That their studies in holy enlightenment. What are the Lords of Shadow? It's like a sacred. I think it's like a Frankenstein, a werewolf, the power and the uh, converged with such intensity someone else. that it Damn. forged a bridge between the spiritual and the real. The founders used also is that, that Kevin Michael Richardson? Purify themselves, abandoning their human forms. And transforming them into spiritual beings whose power was second only to God's. You tell me nothing that so I then they already so know then they murdered beast. Satan, right? If they were second only to God. Realize that what they left behind were not their carcasses devoid of souls, but instead the dark sides of themselves. Interesting. Don't you see, that is how we came to be. We. Who you call the Lords of Shadow? No. You lie. This place is where one of your founders ascended into heaven. That's pretty interesting, honestly. Where That's cool. I was born. All you can see is hair and his ear clipping. This is the place where, according to your prophecy, a warrior of light will reclaim the power of my beloved brother in heaven. A and warrior I of light, you say. Will diminish. If that were to occur. He would die with me, because we are still the same being. He and I, still connected. That's pretty cool. Me, and you kill him. 
kill us all, and you will kill the sentry founders of your own order. Ah, oh, brother. Even you have to smile at the iron. Like, imagine if, if Galahad in, in the Arthurian Perhaps canon... willing to sacrifice himself for you. Like died and then like evil Galahad I, was left behind. However, That'd be cool. I'm not. Though I do say. Oh, no. oh my! Like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh Dude. Dude. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. This is gonna be awesome for like no one but me and Robert. I'm gonna have to tell him about it though, because I don't think he's watching and I don't think he cares. Oh, Cornell. Okay. Okay. So we mentioned earlier about how, like, obviously this is the reboot timeline. And so, like, everything is a different version of this. So, like, instead of the Belmonts being this one family of vampire hunters and, like, maybe there's some other families. Like, instead, the, the lineage of vampire hunters is just one group of people. And, like, Gandolfi is still the guy who made the whip, even though, you know, he was in the original timeline. That didn't, like, get totally rebooted. In one of the Nintendo 64 games, there's a werewolf you play as whose name is Cornell. And, like, he, he's this superhuman, like, mega dude who managed to, like, master his beast side and, like, control his dark side. And, like, and, and, like the inversion of that where, like, no, he's like this, though. Like, oh, my God. That's so crazy. That's so cool. I know it's just the name, but, like, that's a really good pull. That... That's so cool. That's a good pull of just like, hey, it's a werewolf lord. You guys remember Nintendo 64? <laughs> oh, I'm legitimately marking out. That's super cool. One of the three founding members of the Brotherhood of Light were brave warriors, sacrificed the physical bodies to become spiritual beings to fight God's wars against evil. They performed a ritual to transform themselves into angelic creatures. Their intentions were honorable, but they were deceived and their spirits were fractured. The good sides were transported to heaven as angelic beings, but the dark sides were left behind. Cornell is the youngest of the three, but he's the strongest. So I guess the other ones will be more puzzles. Uh, he rarely used his magic powers, preferring to wield a giant sledgehammer that none but he could wield. The spirit of Cornell left his body on that fateful night, and the spirit, strength and anger left behind gave birth to the lycanthrope Dark Lord. Call yourself a warrior! Is this the best the Brotherhood can offer? What's my what's the new move that I bought? I want to use it. Chainsaw. XYX. No match for mine. Oops. <laughs> Call yourself a warrior. It's literally, it's literally, um. Uh, there's a move from Devil May Cry, I'm blanking on it. Prop. Prop and Shredder. Maybe just Prop Shredder. I like how the tip of the hammer spins. Is this the best the brotherhood could offer? Oh, that was a good cycle. Your skills are no match for mine. This fight is awesome. I love this. 
Like, we both are, like, cool warriors with atypical weapons, a, a fucking sledgehammer, and, like, not a warhammer, that's a sledgehammer, they call it as such. Shit. <laughs> it literally says tip, remember to dodge. You're a funny man, you're a funny man. Okay. Let's fucking go. I am Cornell, Lord of the Lycan. Word. Let's give this a shot. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta wind this up. Okay. Oh, I think we have seen this, actually. Yeah, it's her. <laughs> wow. The efficacy cannot be denied. Call yourself a warrior. So in the original Castlevania, the four, like, I think there's like five, big, there's six levels in the original Castlevania, if I remember correctly. I played it, so I should know. And the four, um, the four bosses are like iconic monster movie villains. And then there's another two. There's the bat and Dracula. And like, the bat makes sense because like, hey, we're just playing a fucking, look, we're playing, we're playing a game about vampires. There's going to be a bat. You should fight a giant bat boss in every Castlevania, I think. I think you do, in fact. I don't know why I said you should. I'm pretty sure that you just do. Your skills are no match for mine. Did I do a perfect parry on him? You can parry this guy? Oh, this is the best. This is the best fight so far. I might come back and replay just this fight. Sorry, I'm trying to get my parries off. Is this the best the Brotherhood could offer? I also could just kill him, though. Damn, stupid of me. They sent me back further this time. This is all going in. This is too cool to not go in. I am Cornell, Lord of the yeah, you can parry that. Is this the best the Brotherhood could offer? We going in. We shouldn't maybe go in that hard, but I want to go in. Too, too late. Oh, that gives you a whole bunch of goodies. That gives you a whole bunch on the combo meter. Of course it does. Gotta stop going in. Is this the best the Brotherhood could offer? Yeah, it's, it seems to be very useful to, like, just pop it. Okay. Can we skip this scene? Oh, it totally lagged out there for a second. That was super scary.
Yeah, like, it's relatively controversial to, like, hey, it's a Castlevania game. Who are you playing as? Somebody who does not have the last name Belmont. Like, that's a weird thing. I don't know if I like that. Like, it does let the game be more diverse, because, like, hey, if we're not playing as a Belmont, that means that we can use other weapons, like a spear or a sword. But, like, there's a million games where you can play with a sword, you know? Like, yes, it's cool that Alucard is, like, slashing a sword around, and that looks awesome, and, like, Alucard's cool. But, like, the whip is such a unique and interesting weapon that, like, you miss out on it. You miss using uh, a whip because, like, whips are only really good in Castlevania. Like, even in Dark... I haven't played Elden Ring yet. But even in Dark Souls, like, whips aren't really that good, and it's hard to use a whip properly. Okay. Okay. Is he going to be empowered with his, like, light self? No. Somehow, I, I don't think so. Oh, yeah. This is good. This is good. Thinking of volcano veins! <laughs> Fucking incoming. What beast area is this? Is this just is this just Lord of Shadow Werewolf? Yeah, like in Thrip Dark Lord. Personification of hate and violence. His werewolf form he has uh, strength and speed greater than his mighty lieutenants. He can Use the Cyclone Boots. Magical relics worn by his human counterpart. He can jump and perform charge movements. Oh, interesting. So that means that we're going to get the Cyclone Boots when we kill him. If this game was like a, like, a, like a Metroidvania, that would actually be pretty neat, I think. Like actually getting... Dude, this is peak Castlevania. Like, if you were to tell me, like, hey, they're making an HD Castlevania, I would expect that it should look just like this. Like, we should get, um, cool Devil May Cry combat. We should get, you know, mid-fight bants. So why are they your sons? Is it because you bit them and, like, it's a, it's like a, just a plague dad thing? Or did you like nut in a bunch of wolves? Paid the price. I'm dry. I'm totally out of everything. I forget what the game the Cyclone Boots are in, but that's really cool that they're like, hey, it's the Cyclone Boots. Feel like kind of a ninny for uh, spending my thing now. Woo! Yeah, there's this very good um, article that was cited by Pat of Two Best Friends Play during their talking about them again during their playthrough of um, Devil May Cry One, where they're talking about like tips and tricks or like a PS magazine like maybe the official PlayStation magazine talking about like Devil May Cry versus the recent PS2 Castlevania game that was going to come out Lament of Innocence and like they, they look at Devil May Cry and they can't see anything but Castlevania and they're like whoops god damn that's a lot of damage bro but yeah like they look at it and they can't see anything but DMC or, uh, but Castlevania. And they're like, hey, Capcom's making a Castlevania. Perhaps to try and compete with, you know, the 3D Castlevania coming to the PS2. Like, is Devil May Cry going to be able to stand up to Castlevania? Because Castlevania is better. And, like, I would say that Devil May Cry 1 is better than Lament of Innocence. And, like, now Devil May Cry 1 is... Devil May Cry is way more of a household name than Castlevania. And it's because, like... It's thanks to Konami, like, blowing their lead completely. And, like, not making more Castlevanias and, like, firing Iga and... It's Konami, you know? 
You know, Konami's well known for fucking up their franchises. And by the way, is it painful to be a Metal Gear simp and to be a Castlevania fan in the current year? Yes, yes it is. I feel like I'm just using my normals in this fight. I'm too afraid to use, like, all my fancies. So I'm just using my XX. And then dodging. Cornell with the Cyclone boots. That's so cool. Damn. He served me up. Again, I like the close camera. I think it actually really works. I got too focused on popping my magic. Sorry. Ooh, he's tearing me up this time. Did I tell him my name? I haven't played this game, although I, like... The fun and annoying thing about uh, this game is that, like... the twi This game has a twist ending. And the twist ending is spoiled by the intro of the next game. So if you haven't seen the next game, like, congrats, I guess. You know, this game might have some impact, but, like, getting into Castlevania Lords of Shadow, like, later in the game, but not intended. Um, wow. Like, dude. That's not in the cards. All right. But yeah, like, getting into Castlevania a little later, like... Like, I hope you didn't care about the ending of this game, because the next game, and the other game after it, both spoil it. Which is kind of a... Kind of a shame and really annoying. The other thing that's annoying is that, like, because of the way that they went from this game to the next one, it makes it really hard to put games in between them. Like, what if Castlevania 1 came out? And then they did a twist in the ending, and then they stripped straight to Aria of Sorrow. And then if you wanted to, there was also a 3DS only game that was basically like Symphony of the Night. Like, that's, that's, what, these, that's what these games feel like. It's not even right to really call them a trilogy, because I don't feel like they are. I should shut up and focus in hardcore. Yeah, see, the second I stop talking and start shutting up, much better. No. I'm pleased with the difficulty of this game. It's not like crazy fuck off super hard like a lot of the Castlevanias are, because like, goddamn, some of the Castlevanias are just, just nuts. But it's also not like super easy. Like, I would say that Symphony of the Night gets really easy. Oh, he's blocking. If I die here, I'll uh, pause recording. Maybe I'll restart the whole fight.
because it might be a little easier for me to um, like just reset the whole fight. But then again, now that we have a checkpoint here, I might not get that Dark Crystal back, and that would be really annoying. Again, that's the problem of having like a very loose game like this, like a God of War. Oh, word. That's the problem of having a very loose game like this, like a God of War, but then you also still have, um... Like, ammo. What am I doing here? Ah. That. I've gathered, sir. Thank you. Why did I seal my power in all these rocks? I really shouldn't stand next to them. Ooh, cleaned. Alright. It gave me a checkpoint. It's really funny that they, like, have you, like, no, you gotta listen to Patty Stew every time, though. Like, we paid for him, we're gonna use it. Like, I guess it wouldn't make sense for them to, like, pay for Patrick Stewart every time he, like, appears in this game. They just pay him by the word, I imagine. So they're gonna have him say, like, their little thing, and then they're gonna have him, like, they're gonna use those few things that he did say as much as they possibly can. Trying to use my chainsaw move. Because you know what? Prop Shredder's awesome. Oh, should I be, uh... Punching him? Cool. Whoa. Ooh, damn. Really, Patrick? Must you? Can't skip that though. If I game over here, which it looks like I may, I'll start over. I might also cut this episode um, sooner because I'm getting a haircut today. Oh, um, also, this is going to be the last episode before the break, so I'm glad we're getting to a good uh, big arc finale. Hey, we're back in. Um, their health increases with each statue, which is pretty simple. Yeah. My boy Gandalf, he's got his hook point working for me. <laughs> the giant hammer does look a little stupid. But then again, Belmont's super crazy fucking strong. Yeah, stake him. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. You know, in hindsight, I wonder if it's a little silly. Is that what I think it is? Because that looks just like the animation for Devil May Cry Double Jump. Maybe it's a little silly that they're like, By the way, I'm Cornell! Like, the second before you start the fight. But you know what? I'm not immune to Castlevania nostalgia. Case, it's love. cool. Reclaim the power before it is lost. So did one of God's angels just keel over? I wonder if this goes both ways. Like, if 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 we can't get to God, but then God can't get to us, then he would have no idea what's going on down here. And then I would kill the body of one of his angels, and then that angel just keels over. What is that? Always, always nothing for demons. Demons deserve always nothing. 
Semper sounds like Semper Fi. Well, I mean, Semper is just a word. But commonly recognizable in the phrase Semper Fi. Daemonica seems pretty simple. What was the other one? Oblivion in this. Hey, it's that mask that I keep wearing whenever I kill one of my girlfriends. I give to Cornell. These boots were forged long ago. Travel fast distances at tremendous speed. After he came the Dark Lord, he improved, using shadow magic to turn them into a powerful weapon, letting him charge down enemies with incredible strength. Cool. Are we going to get a second gauntlet? Oh, man. What are these boots going to allow me to do, though? That's... I'm excited. I love how heavy the footfall is. It's a little like Minecraft with the double tapping, but you know what? They're so they they use every other button on here, so I I'm fine with it. Again, I prefer this infinitely to beast riding. Also, we now just have a a, a fast movement. I will say this is something that's a little cleaner in DMC. In DMC4, your sprint is just... Oh, fuck off. You just hold down the button um, long enough. But it is not enough. You must unite the two. And then... Um, Come with me. You just start running a little faster. And in Special Edition and in DMC5, they changed the... Like... How do I put this? The, the length of time at which it takes to activate. Hell yeah. We make a little stop at that volcano. I have a ring to drop in. All right, chapter three complete. Um, I'm gonna stop the episode because that's a really good s stopping point. Oh, that's so rad! That's really cool. What else we got in here? Nothing. Okay, and in relic powers. Shoulder charge. Word. Dark gauntlet assisted uppercut. Fucking awesome. A blast attack. Oh, these are so cool. Sprint thrust, we're definitely going to get. Flame. Oh. Oh. Dude. At first, I got a little worried when I saw how short this chapter was. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stop the episode, but we'll just... Oh. Oh. What are all of these? Does that just put numbers on them? Combat damage? That's cool. That's a good detail. Oh, you pay money for these? That's a little lamer. Pan's horse form. Then again, it's not like I'm spending money on much else. Not money like this. Wall detail. Cool. Putting a concept art viewer in a game is pretty solid. Pretty much every time. It's always one of my favorite things to look at and see. The fairies. I like that. Fairy lock. Griffin statue. Cornell. Dude, that is one badass motherfucker. The lava veins really make it, I think. The arena could be a little cooler, but I honestly... I think the, the neatest part about the arena is the sky, and you never get a chance to see that. So maybe that's a little shame. Dark dungeon. Sanctuary door. Really good. Like, very. Look, I know that this is kind of a bad thing to say, but it is very reminiscent of DMC Devil May Cry. Arena paint over. Stone idol. In how, like, there is so much work that goes in here. And a lot of it is really good work. Gabriel's mount. 
Great warg. That's... Oh, look at how awesome this art is. Holy shit. That one's used in the intro, I think. Like, there's just so much that is used and used well in, in this game and in DMC Devil May Cry. The problem with DMC Devil May Cry is, I, f I think, just the writing and the game feel. And again, like, the fact that they call it Devil May Cry. If they hadn't... Oh, that sucks, dude. I feel like the game would be just a lot better. Goblin. Swamp Troll. Dragon Corpse. I don't even remember this thing. Yeah, maybe it's a little stupid of me to spend money on um, Pen. Pen's an okay design. But I keep finding like kinship and relatability. That's so good. I keep finding like kinship and relatability between these things. Cheats, no damage, all relics. Oh, you can turn that on from, from default. And it doesn't, I didn't get a notification about achievements. I hope I'm still getting them, but wow. Um, holy shit, this game's pretty good. So I guess I guess the reason that it's in here by default is for like if you play this on 360 and you beat it and you 100 percent at it and like then you get it on Steam and like you don't want to go through that whole song and dance again, well then hey, don't. Just do this. Put these on. But yeah, um This is gonna be the last episode of Castlevania Lords of Shadow for a little over two weeks, strictly speaking, because like, I know that I'm not posting videos for two weeks, but the thing is, is that not every video is Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I'm also LPing The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. I mentioned that earlier in this LP. And I'm LPing Valkyria Chronicles and have been for quite a while. Um, Valkyria Chronicles is now hitting two months, and then you add another two weeks onto that with a break, and yow. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be like maybe more like three weeks before the next episode of Castlevania Lords of Shadow because there's more episodes of Oblivion to post. Maybe there's more episodes of Valkyria Chronicles in between now and the break. And then there's the two weeks of the break. And then you start um, posting. And then we start posting videos again. And then not all those videos are Castlevania. And once we get through all those, we get Castlevania again. But I digress. Um, I know it's kind of a shame that like I'm taking a break. I've never taken a break before. And you know what? I feel like I deserve it. I might take another break soon. Or maybe I will do something where like... I don't know. I stop posting on Sundays. Because, uh, you know, I don't get paid for this and I'm not mentally well. Not like suicidal, but it's sometimes just a little hard to justify, like, busting my ass for something that I'm not getting paid for. And people aren't seeing like, hey, if you have a real craving for more of my videos, then go watch the 700 others that I made because I've been working for two years on this. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the last Castlevania before the break. See you guys after it. I'll see you guys next time. This is actually the last video I'm recording before the break, which is why this has a very final feel to it. <clears throat> but I've been Alfred. This has been Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I'll see you guys in two weeks. I hope you had a good day. I can't wait to come back. Bye.